Thank you, Daria, for the background on beauty standards. I'm going to continue to talk about the aesthetic problem of the moment. Women under more, uh, nowadays people are under more or less pressure to beauty standards, but why are women under more pressures? It seems that these female stars have to have a pretty face and a perfect body because the public loves them for these reasons. In the current social situation, women want to attract others' attention, so they change themselves in different ways. Society has put forward many unrealistic beauty standards for women. They are accepted to be hairless and must be slim with no tummy but big butt. Not only is this a distorted aesthetic, but women should not be defined or restricted by these standards. Many women have varying levels of body and appearance anxiety due to these standards. They are often feel self-abasement about their bodies and look and feel inferior. Most of this comes from being overly concerned with what others size and judge. Maybe it's because someone says you seem to be gaining weight. They become self-doubting and dissatisfied with themselves. Others are always comparing themselves with others. Women often experience difference between their own bodies and the idolized and unattainable female body, leading to body dis, uh, dissatisfaction. Some women take unreasonable ways to lose weight in pursuit of good figure, according to a report released by the American College of Sports Medicine. Spending on physical gyms and in-app fitness continue to grow in length with recent fitness trends. The chart also showed that the trends for exercise and weight is on the rise. Moderate exercise is good for your health, but there are some girls who exercise too much. Women are at, uh, are at risk of gynecological disease and other bodily organ damage due to excessive exercise. It can also cause mental problems such as irritability. In addition to fitness, some people also try dieting. We all know that the average meal is three meals a day, but women who want to lose weight may eat only one or two meals a day. They start to lose weight, cut out carbs, and uh, instead of low fat, low calorie vegetables and protein. It can lead to uh, malnutrition in the short term. Uh, and the intelligent decline in the long term. It is clear that women have been affected by the definition imposed on them both physically and mentally. Because I live in China, girls have been looking for skinny beauty for a long time. It's not hard to see it in celebrities. All female stars are very strict with their bodies. Western standards uh, emphasize fitness and curves. They prefer low body fat and uh, firm muscles, but also sharp curves. Chinese women show off their uh, thinness in many rather unique ways. For example, A4 Waist Challenge. Women were asked to share a photo of themselves holding a sheet of A4 paper in front of their waist to show their were thinner than the, the waist of the paper. This caused a lot of controversy with the challenge being accused of promoting an unhealthy lifestyle. There are also skin color. Chinese girls are accepted to have creamy skin, while Western prefer tan skin. People have a lot of standards about how women should look, but what about men? In fact, men are much less stressed about their looks and bodies than women are, and they, were, they are more, com more confident about themselves. When people say obvious, they just think he looks clean and neat, and they will leave a good impression. Guys are not judged like girls. For example, uh, we usually see whether a girl can make an app, whether her facial feature has contours, whether her body is uh, symmetrical. In addition to other people's evaluation, boys and girls uh, have also have different requirements for themselves. Uh, although women know that it's difficult for the average woman to achieve the ideal body, they believe it should be within their personal reach. Men, by contrast, hold themselves to no different standards than they hold other men to. In addition, girls' body self esteem already reduced within when they are outweighed, while boys' body self esteem is affected only when they are obese. 
uh, these are the reference that I used in my presentation. Uh, that is the end of my part, and Xiaoling will talk about the solution for the current situation about the uh, beauty standards. And thank you.